Season 10 of Tropical Island of Treasure continues on S3 and the pressure is getting worse on the island. Sometimes things are not always as smooth as it may seem. Now, this past week, we had the final long life ceremony of the season, which said goodbye to Team Peach. Now, this competitive match made in heaven played with such passion until the very end. Take a look at their final challenge. And of course, Team Peach, unfortunately, one team must go home. And today, that's you. You fought valiantly. You were incredible teammates all throughout the competition. And it's been amazing to see your journey of growth as a team and also from a personal perspective as well. And I wonder what you're feeling right now. I feel like a conqueror. Um, my partner and I fought all the way, <laughs> never gave up. Um, God is still for us and not against us. So I'm still content. We know what, yeah, all things work together for your good. Mm. <laughs> all right, guys, well, sad as it may be, I'm gonna have to ask you to bring your buffs and hang them up on the paint apple and make your way home. Here you go. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, and that was how we said goodbye to Maurice and Larisha. But now we do say hello to Maurice, who joins us live in studio. Hello, hello. Uh... Ah, hello, Dalon. <laughs> hello, Dalon. <laughs> Wait, man. Listen, uh, we were just talking now while watching that, that it, it's almost as if like the emotion comes back, because remember there was, while we were filming that, yeah. there was a moment of like proper pause where yeah. we all cried. Yes, yeah. What do you think is it about this season? Because I've never experienced it before, right? Yeah. What do you think is it about this season that brought us all so close together such that at elimination time, there was always this emotional yeah. reaction? Why? You know, I think for me personally, it, at this time around, there's a lot of history that, that came along with right. season 10. You know what I mean? Because of my first time when I was here in Seychelles, yeah. well, there in Seychelles, it was kind of different. It was your first time experiencing the Tropica, I mean, the Tropica challenges mm -hmm. and the alliances and the relationship that you built. So coming into the uh, uh, top 10, I mean, yeah. I mean, the uh, 10th season, it was a whole different situation. I mean, before the challenges and before Tropica, me and Jonathan, we said we're going to be alliances. So mm. we already formed, and because of that relationship, yes. we knew what, was what we were going to do. Obviously, we didn't know who our partners was going to be. And right. luckily, it was strong people. Yes. And I think where we kind of sit, where we want to be within this challenge, it wasn't a very good start for us, for Tropica, for, well, for, for Team Peach, yes, me yes. and Larisha. So, and because of my determination and her determination, yeah. you know, and with the Jono's emotional support that was there throughout, mm. I think it was kind of high. When we got to that point in yeah. Seychelles, it was kind of... It really tightened. It yeah. really had to end like this now. There was... There was a vision, you know what I mean? Mm. And because of the personalities that was there, yeah. it was totally different. Yeah. And that's why it was so hard for me personally to say goodbye, but I couldn't, you know, the masculinity couldn't do it on screen. But, uh, but yeah, afterwards, yeah, when you're you know walking away, I mean? there's... Yeah, but like tears. I said, it's more history than <laughs> anything else. Yeah. I look at Larisha as possibly one of the strongest in a sense of like, you know, like spiritually, she yeah. relied a lot on spirituality, very, 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 a lot of the very, challenges. Yeah. I remember at one point, uh, you were trying to kind of give her a pep talk yeah. uh, before she had to balance on the SUP. Mm -hmm. And she said, Maurice, yeah, I, know. I got this. And you yes. could see her going into that zone. Yeah. She had a different approach to this 10th season of Tropical Island. Yes. What was it like playing with her as your teammate? You know, when we were in St. Lucia, everybody saw her as like, you know, somebody else. And nobody actually looked at her. And I'm going to be honest, I didn't as well. Yeah. Because I had one person in mind that wanted to be my partner. Right. Because we kind of had, we had a friendship relationship. Who was that? Um, Liardis. Okay, okay. Yeah. Fair enough. So when I got her, it was a relationship that needed to start from scratch. Yes. I okay. needed to get into her vibe and she needed to get into mine. And because I was very competitive, while well, still am, and I think for her, at the time and at the moment was more about the experience of being there. Right. And it was a kind of a journey for her to kind of get into that mindset as well. But she was, at the time, very spiritual, very strong. Yeah. And that's what I got from her. Yeah. So when we left St. Lucia, I knew in what level we needed to connect. Mm. So we kind of built that and got that. And so when we got to Seychelles, we already started on that emotional about the next, yeah. you know what I mean? And I, yeah, I particularly enjoyed the long life ceremonies with you guys because the, like, the banter and the connection between the two of you yeah. was so natural. It was like, bop, 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 you know what I'm saying? Um, what would you have done to, or do you think that there's more that you could have done to prepare for the second time round on the island, given that it was, of course, 
Now, there's the 10th season, so everything is going to be twistier, smoother. Yeah. Is there more that you could have done? No, no. And to be honest with you, I think I had the perfect partner. Yeah. Because there was no way for me to, to actually prep for anything. Yeah. And because I know what Tropica is about by now, yeah. you know, there's no way of, you just need to be a physical fit. Yeah. You need to be strong, mentally strong, and you need to be able to think in that moment. Yeah. And you need to have a partner like that. Yeah. And with this journey, I mean, you know, Larisha, I think this journey was set out for us to be, to be like this, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because we could carry this relationship that we had on screen and on Tropica, and we could influence a lot of people out there how it actually needs to be done. That's right. You know, and that's more rewarding than I think, than anything else that I could take away from me. Yeah, yeah, man. And I hope that you do continue that friendship and that yeah. connection um, after the show as well. Great to have you. Great to see you again. Stay nah, strong, man. man. Keep doing what Thank you're you. doing. We love your work as always. Eh? Thank you so much, brother. Now, of course, season 10 of Tropica Island of Treasure is heading to the final stages and there's so much more entertainment coming your way. Plus, of course, some smooth prizes too to be won. So catch the latest episode of Tropica Island of Treasure this Saturday on S3 at 6.30 p.m. Tune in to find out if your favourites are safe or if they're heading home for elimination. You too can win big with Tropica. Buy a Tropica promo pack, follow the details, enter and stand a chance to win your share of thousands of smooth prizes such as airtime, data, AEG fridges, Island Tribe hampers, rest assured beds, plus limited edition Tropica bags, towels, tents, cooler bags and cushions. The more Tropica you buy, the more chances you stand to win. Tropica, nothing smoother.